Pinto, come on up here. Yeah? Come on, you can do it. Can you get me my beer? It's on the fender over there. Good girl. Howdy, I'm Jason. That's my dog, Pinto. And today on the Auto Edit Jeep, I'm gonna be kinda showing you how to mount your rooftop tent. Now, what I found when, during this experience, that there's like a million combinations of racks and types of tents, and not a lot of specific instructions on how to make those things match. So what I have here, is the AEV Brute rooftop rack that that mounts through, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. I have a video of the whole install, and that mounts through this top onto the roll bar, or the sport bar they call it, inside here. So it's very sturdy and very strong. And then I have the ARB Touring rooftop tent. Now this is a hand-me-down tent. This tent had been hurt during a Dirt Every Day episode. Um, it was featured in the double truck one, and Fred was really nice enough to let me borrow this thing for a while and I actually took it out and used it for the first time in Death Valley and it was really awesome. Now it needed a few fixer upper things. Once I got it out there I realized there were a few bolts missing in the hinge. I'll show you that in a second. And I'm, I'm experimenting now. During that video the tent opened out to the side here and I'm going to change that and now I have it twisted to where the tent will now deploy out the back here and create a little awning over the back door if I, if I get access, have access to the back here. Now I'm gonna bring you on in and show you the process of how to deploy this thing. Now this will be the first time I've done it fully installed. I have the zipper all the way around the base of this thing so it's solid, I have it twisted, I have the, the racks mounted. I'll bring you in and I'll show you exactly how I mounted this and it's like I say, it's that crazy equation of ARB Touring Tent with the AEV rack. I'll show you how I did that. So if you go to go get yourself a tent, you'll have an idea of this combination and how this combination work, may work for you. The tent came with these little guys right here, these little straps. And what they would do is go across this little bar right here. Now, since I turned the the roof rack sideways, what I liked, I didn't like the spacing of these two bars in between the AEV rack in particular. So I turned it sideways, that way these bars sit all the way across. And then what I ended up having to do was make new little brackets, instead of these little ones that it came with, went to Home Depot and just got some metal strap, drilled some holes, and made four of those. And those grab the large aluminum rails, plenty strong, and those will hold just fine. So you have to get a little bit creative sometimes. I got your soccer ball. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Go get it. So now to open the tent, let's get the spare tire holder open and out of the way. Now this will become a nice little area once this opens. Now to get the tent open, there's a little zipper that goes all the way around the base and there's a little rip cord like a wetsuit Girl, we're gonna throw the thing again. So you grab your zipper, keep bringing it around. Hey, buddy. Pull your straps. And now your top is ready to come off. Now here's another little side note. These metal cloak fenders, you're not gonna do this on your stock fenders. These are rad. This turns out to be a really handy byproduct of awesome. So we'll get the cover off. Shoot that that way. Slide our tent ladder out. For watch your head, don't hurt your head. <laughs> you little knucklehead. All right. We'll get the that off. We reach up, grab our ladder. Oh, jeez, almost forgot. See, I'm new. Almost forgot. There's a little strap right there that just keeps the front leading edge down on this thing. These things right here. So, since I've only actually deployed this thing once out in the wild, this is only my really second time. So. No expert, but I like it. And then it's just as simple as opening your tent. 
And there you go. Tent is up. Now let me bring you in and show you around some of this stuff and I'll show you why I did it off the back because now I have this little cover here. It seems to be really, really happy up there on the rack like this. So we'll see out in the wild how it feels, if it feels a little bit better or more stable on the road. But I like it. I think this is gonna work well. Also, I wanna show you the mounting points inside here. So as you can see, they mount there in the rear and there's two more above the speaker on the bar up there in the front there. And they all are similar and they have obviously pretty good ceiling because uh, there's not been any drips of water inside the Jeep. And it doesn't creak, these brackets are super sturdy. So I haven't had any problems with it at all. Yes, it's a commitment, you're drilling into the roof of your Jeep, but look, it's practical, it's what I want. It's not like I was just gonna put it up there and take it off. That's a permanent part of the Jeep now, in my mind. And it works. So there it is, deployed. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. It looks really good. It's very stable up there. Really like that about this rack. I know there's a million options, like almost literally hundreds of rack options to these things, but I like this one. It looks good. It doesn't make a lot of noise. And it mounts up pretty solid. And it's handsome. Look at that. It was that fast. So let me take you on up there and show you what it's like inside there. Anybody else have a cute shop dog? Okay, watch out. I'm gonna, I can't. Look at that thing. All right. So back to the tent. So I have the rain fly on since this next trip that I'm going on is gonna be all the way from here to Colorado and then Colorado back to Las Vegas and then home. So probably gonna encounter some rain. So I put the fly on, put these little posts to keep it out. And let me take you inside. So this is the inside. It's spacious for one, be probably kind of tight for two. Definitely uh, if it was a special lady friend or just special friend of any sort, would work pretty great. But yeah, that's what it's like inside there. There's a couple of bolts missing here. I've now replaced those. The thing opens and closes like a champ. So that's the inside. All right, good girl. So the last thing I wanted to bring up is that the ladder is a bit short. Now this, if this were on a stock Jeep, this would be fine, but this Jeep has 37 inch tires and a three and a half inch lift. So it sits pretty tall. And so therefore this ladder is a little bit short. They sell, ARV sells an extension that would kick it out to here. Now that would be super helpful because it's a little sketchy to get in with it just going straight down. And my other problem is that I can't get my dog up there. Go, climb the ladder. Yeah, she doesn't want any part of that. She wants to kick the soccer ball. So that's the only other thing. So other than that little bit of dial-in left to do on this thing, this is pretty awesome. Come on, Beto, get up here. No, yeah, all right, we're gonna work on that. But until next time, this is the rooftop tent install on the Jeep and how maybe you could put these ingredients to use for your Jeep. Now get out there and adventure. Till next time, enjoy your drive. Does it count if you're camping, even if it's in your backyard? I don't know. <laughs>